Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest of the evening is a featherweight contest of mixed martial arts, fought under 65.8 kilos. And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner, let's hear it for Omar Sargent. <laughs> opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Zach Cloud. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he hails from Watford. He's 23 years old, stands six feet tall, and weighed in at 65.6 kilos. He fights for Team Crossface, and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Omar Sargent. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Sittingbourne. He's 24 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 65.8 kilos. He fights for Dragon's Lair and has a mixed martial arts record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for Zach Kalam. This contest is fought over three, three minute rounds. Okay, second fight of the night here. We're kicking off with some featherweight action. We have Zach Clout from Dragon's Lair in the gray and yellow shorts versus Omar Stewart in the black shorts. The first thing I noticed, Ryan, is that Omar Stewart is really tall for a featherweight. For somebody of 65 kilos, he's six foot tall. Six foot tall, very, very tall, but that looks like it's going against him straight away as he's been taken down pretty yeah. easily. Zach Clout wasted no time stopping that range. He didn't want to know about that range. So However, those straight. long legs do equal one thing usually, and that is a triangle. And how have oh, turned it into Uma Plata? Uma. I think maybe he should have kept going for that, that triangle right there. He looked like he's in a position to get that good on I him. think so, too. You rarely see Uma Plata's finished in the MMA matches, but um, just shows his jiu-jitsu game how kind he's got a beautiful... Scissor sweep there, fantastic. Great textbook scissor sweep there. He's doing a very good job because he's now in his back. I think the problem that you have with fights that with fighters that haven't fought many fights is that they do try a bit too much too early and then they get out a little bit soon. But it's been fantastic so far. The pace has slowed down a little bit. Um, yeah, Omar looking like he's taking his time now, relaxing a bit more. I think he's 
He was rushed early in the fight, and I think now the fight slowed down a bit. He's, he's more confident. You can see him trying to control this fight, trying to not let um, Zach get back to his feet. Um, Zach was doing a good job of getting his back to the fence, but as you mentioned, Omar is just working hard now. I think Zach might have just gassed himself out a little bit there trying to get the early stoppage. However, he has got another hook on the correct side, and he's working hard, but I think he's having an issue trying to hold on to, on to Omar with those long, wiry arms, and he's scoring some shots. He's, Oh, he's worked that underhook perfectly. He's managed to stand up and he's managed to get a little sweep. He's going to put his legs underneath him. Nice reversal there from Zach. He's taken a few unanswered shots, but he's taken shots. They weren't covered, but they were answered in form of getting back to his feet, turning his fight against the cage. And that guillotine looks pretty tight. I think we And there it is. tap. Nice work from Omar. Referee stepped in just in time there. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 55 seconds of round number one, your winner, due to a tap out by guillotine choke, from the blue corner, Omar Sargent. <laughs> but let's hear it for a very worthy challenger. Let's hear it for Zach Cloud. <laughs> 